Hello, this is John from DriveHUD, and I'm going to walk you through how to create any filter in DriveHUD. It's super simple. We're going to create a filter where a user completes in the small blind and then check folds on the flop. So, from any tab in DriveHUD, just click on the filters drop down, click on create filter. And the first thing we're going to do is select our small blind position. So uh, we're going to do this for six max and full ring. So uh, small blind is one to the button. So we're going to click on all these other users here and turn them red. <clears throat> we're going to do the same for full ring because we're going to apply it to both. So the only position we have active here is the small blind. So it's in green. It's in green there. And then we're going to eliminate some of the situations here that won't apply to us. So we don't want any 3 bets. We don't want any 4 and 5 bets. Uh, 2 plus callers. So basically this essentially has to be a, a limped pot. So we don't want any razors. So it's to be limper, razor in a caller, and also unopened. So these three scenarios would apply. So all those will add up here as we add them. Uh, next, we're going to go to the actual hand action. So pre-flop, we're just going to call. So we click on call. Select from the drop down here, no additional actions. We'll add that here. And then on the flop, we're going to check as our first action. So we'll highlight that in green. And then fold. So we have that added here. Flop action, check fold, XF. Flop action, just call. And so we have that filter, so we can just click apply. Click OK, and that will apply to DriveHUD. And we'll show all scenarios where we have completed in the small blind and check folded. So you can see that here. A couple limpers. We just complete. Flop comes checks around, we get a small bet, and we fold here multi-way. So that is essentially how to create this. And if you want to save this for later use, you just click on Save. Um, create a name for it. It'll save it in your DriveHood data folder. And then you can come back and load that at any time. So that will be in your filter list. And that's it. And if you have any questions, always contact our support at support at drivehood.com. Thank you.